Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, once again, I'm Blaine Butler with the Center for Open Science. I'm the product owner associated with um, our OSF collections. This is uh, Drew Jatomer and Nikki Tresti from URE Methods, who I'll be introducing um, the presentation, and then they'll be taking over and explaining what URE Methods collection is about, and then um, showing an example of one of the um, add-on tools that they developed to better serve um, their needs. Okay, so this presentation is introducing the use of research evidence methods um, or URE methods collection on the OSF, sharing methods to enhance open science practices. As I mentioned, I'm Wayne Butler, product owner at Center for Open Science, and this is Drew Jatomer, as well as Nikki Dresty, both from URE Methods. So OSF Collections is a repository of submitted OSF projects, which is built for sharing, searching, aggregating, and promoting a body of research works. Collections enable research communities to set norms and advance open research practices collectively. OSF Collections enables research communities and organizations visibly, visibly encourage and promote open science practices. Um, it also allows for moderation and curation of specific OSF projects and aggregation of the resources related to specific research objective themes and topics for that organization or community. Um, included within an OSF collection is a branded landing page, submission control, moderation support, uh, a whole moderation dashboard and workflow, um, along with aggregated research outputs from across the OSF, and then custom metadata to enhance visibility. Um, now here is Drew to discuss uh, how they're using the URE methods collection to enhance their work. Well, thank you, Blaine. Hello, everyone, and thank you all for joining us. I'm Drew Jatomer from the Rutgers University Graduate School of Education. And today we're here to introduce the URE methods collection on the open science framework. This is a repository of methods and measures used to study the use of research evidence, or URE. URE research provides insight into whether, when, how, and why policymakers and practitioners obtain, make meaning of, and use research evidence, how use impacts policy and practice, and how the use of research evidence can be improved. Today, my colleague Nikki Dresty and I want to introduce you to the repository. We will give you a bit of background on its origins, provide an overview of, of what a project looks like in the collection, and then show you how you can easily post your own work in the collection. Let's start with a little background information about the repository. Back in 2019, Kevin Krauss and I set out to review the research methods used to examine URE, and we found a few things of interest. For one, studies of URE cut across multiple fields, including education, social welfare, public health, and the legislative and justice systems. The questions, frameworks, and methods used to study URE often had much in common, even though they frequently had different disciplinary orientations and were often published in different journals and other dissemination outlets. So we thought that the URE community could benefit from a resource that would encourage synergy among this diverse research base and contribute to the building of stronger methods. We also knew that in order for this resource to be effective and usable by the community at large, it needed to exist as an open research commons where it can be freely accessed, accessed, engaged with, and contributed to. It also needed to be a place where authors could maintain ownership of the materials and license it, license it for the use in ways that suited their needs. We also thought that people would benefit from sharing and having access to details of methods that are typically unavailable through standard publications. So say you publish a paper for a study that relied on an interview method. A reader would usually be able to find some limited information about the interview, including in some cases the questions that were asked. But other elements such as the full, full interview protocol, the coding structures used to interpret responses, or any detail about the work process of creating the protocol, those typically wouldn't be readily available. <clears throat> Thus, in order to create synergy about URE research methods among the URE community and to provide greater access to method details, 
we built the URI repository within the open science framework to support researchers at different stages of their research development, as well as to provide a resource for students, funders, publishers, and others. Now we work with individual researchers and research teams to house their methods as projects inside an OSF collection, organized by method type and subject area. In order to encourage the curation of each project with as many methodological details as possible and create a consistency of format across all projects, we design templates customized to different types of methods for our contributors to use and apply to their projects. So as an example, I'd like to show you one of the projects we have in our repositories collection. This is a survey method used for the validation study of the Research Engagement Survey Tool, also known as the REST, designed by Melody Goodman from the New York University School of Pu Global Public Health, Aveta Thompson from Washington University in St. Louis, and their colleagues. This tool was created to assess community engagement levels in health research. We worked with Dr. Goodman to include this method and its corresponding survey instrument in the repository and use the features of OSF collections to make it visible and searchable. Now, some of the features include adding contributors, uh, creating an effective brief description, licensing for the protocol, a DOI, relevant tags and other metadata, and uploading files that contain instruments, coding structures, and other or other protocol information. Now you'll notice that a detailed breakdown of the method is contained in multiple wikis, which, which are part of our template format. For this protocol, there is much greater information provided about the survey structure itself, access to the actual software code, code that's used to score constructed responses, um, and details about the analytic procedures and findings. Now, depending on our contributors' needs, this template can be customized or expanded to include other details or have some protocol information broken down into components or linked to other projects. We invite you to explore this and other protocols in the repository to get a sense of the kinds of things that authors include. Currently, <clears throat> currently we still work with our contributors and do much of the back-end effort of developing protocols and creating projects for them in order to save them time. In order to sustain the repository's design and open it up to as large a group of contributors as possible, we have developed a more autonomous process where people can take our resources and add their own work. In order to facilitate this process, we have concluded support on our companion website where users can find not only the templates, but also written and video guides on how to use all the resources of our project and OSF. To support independent input of methods protocols, our co-PI Kevin Krauss created a simple plugin to provide a major enhancement for our users. So with that, I'll turn it over to Nikki, who is going to present a demonstration of the plugin. All right, thanks, Drew, and hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Nikki Dresty, also from the Rutgers University Graduate School of Education, and I'm the project manager of the URE Methods Repository. Uh, as Drew mentioned, I'll be showing you uh, the tool that our co-PI Kevin uh, developed to make uh, curating, uh, creating and populating projects for our collection even easier for our contributors. It's been designed to work with our pre-formatted templates uh, so that all users need to do it is populate one in a Google document or a Microsoft Word document um, and with their protocol information and then let a few clicks do the rest. Uh, in addition, this plugin will also export the contents of an OSF project into a document file. Uh, so what I'll be doing today is giving you a click through of the Microsoft Word import portion of the plugin, as well as a look at the export function. Uh, so first, what we do is we're going to log into OSF uh, from the URI uh, plugins index homepage. Uh, this link is also available on our site on uh, uremethods.org. Um, so first, we'd log in. Click Allow. 
There we go. We're logged in. Um, so then we would select import from a Google document or import from an MS Word document. So for the purposes of today's demo, I'm going to be showing you the Microsoft Word one. All right. That says, please wait until the OSF projects load. All right. So in the section OSF project, you'd want to type in the name of the project you wish to import into. So I have a test one that I've made for today's demonstration. So I'm going to click that. Next, you want to upload your Microsoft Word document. Um, note that our, doc our plugin only currently works with uh, modern Microsoft Word files. Uh, so that's the .docx one. Uh, and for this demonstration, I'm going to be using our interview protocol template with um, no other details in it. So I'm going to click that and just I'm going to take a moment to just show you what this looks like. Um, so we've created these templates to easily organize um, large amounts of information pertaining to specific methods. Uh, and of course, as Drew mentioned, these can be customized to meet the needs of the researchers. So you see that there are uh, a number of fields for researchers to populate um, to discuss the, the details of their stud, of their method. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to scroll too fast. Uh, so everything you saw in the Goodman protocol there. So I'm gonna take us back to the other screen. Uh, so I've already uploaded it. So then you'd select your document options based on the directive shown here. Um, these options allow you to determine how the information in your document sorts itself into the OSF project uh, upon importing it. So you can adjust these settings to create components within your project or separate wikis uh, based on your project's individual format needs. Um, so when the default setting you see selected here is used, uh, with our template, this results in creating a project with separate wikis for each major section. Uh, so as you saw with the Goodman protocol shown earlier. Uh, so then we review our options and we're gonna hit import. We're gonna get the loading screen. Wait for that to finish. Sometimes it may, may take a few minutes. There we go. And then done. Uh, so we're going to click here to leave the importer and go to the OSF webinar demo uh, in interview protocol. Um, so the end result should be something like this. So an OSF project that looks uh, that's formatted to your specifications um, with just a few clicks. So from here, you can complete your project by uploading files into the OSF file storage, uh, adding tags, linking projects, uh, you know, uh, uh, entering metadata um, and licensing information and so on. Um, so let's go back really quickly. Oh, and I just wanted to take, take a look at the wiki here, just so that you see what I'm talking about. So it looks very similar to the Goodman uh, example. Um, so I'd like to take us back really quickly and uh, take a look at the export function. We're gonna just go back, there we go. So this time we're gonna hit export to a file. Again, you wanna make sure you're logged in uh, and then you you know select export. Um, click your project just like before and then select your options. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm going to uh, export it into a Microsoft Word document um, review your other options. Uh, again, you know, setting it to, to however you want it formatted when it comes out. I'm going to leave these on the default setting. So what it should turn into is a document that contains information organized much like, uh, similar to the, to the, uh, Microsoft Word document I showed you earlier. Hit export. Uh, wait for the loading to, to complete. All right, and you open your download. And there you have it. Um, and so you have a file that's ready to share, edit, um, and print for your reference. Um, so note that you should also be able to import this 
uh, back into the project. So this is helpful to do if you have more structural changes to make to your project rather than just spot editing through the wiki editor uh, located on uh, OSF. Um, and that is about it. Um, let me just take us back to the presentation here. Um, so we created this to streamline the process of creating and maintaining projects in an OSF, uh, in, a, in our OSF collection. And we hope you find it helpful and consider it when uh, giving it a go when you, um, when contributing. Uh, in addition to everything I just showed you, we have guidance on our companion site. Uh, that's uremethods.org. Uh, and uh, I'm also happy to answer any questions um, that you may have uh, for us today. Uh, so with that, I will hand us back to Blaine. You're muted. Sorry. Um, uh, we had a question about the links and the recording uh, being available. And yes, the slides will go out in an email next week. Uh, they will also be available on an OSF uh, project page, um, which will also be part of that link uh, or in that e included in that email. Are there any other questions or does anyone need anything? And if there are any questions about the repository in general. Yeah. Or the import tool or export, import export tool. Right. Well, thank you for y'all's attention and participation. And like I said, all of the um, the slides, the recording will all be going out early next week and linked to an OSF project page. Um, and if, if you're interested in engaging at all and have questions, please feel free to reach out to um, me or Nikki. And we have an email site specifically at methods at gmail.com. Yes, if you go to the um, next to last slide, I'll share screen real quick. Um, there are links to the URE methods collection directly and then um, their email is right here. And hold on, there was q &A. Um, is there, can you search for a template for any specific type of research, um, clinical outcomes and assessments within the URE templates? Uh, yes, I mean, we don't have an exhaustive group of methods, but we certainly have a, a decent selection. We have interviews and surveys and uh, experimental approaches and case studies and several others that are up up uh, and th th those templates can certainly be used to guide the research to, to guide the input and we anticipate developing other templates as we go along all right well thank you all again for joining us and um if you have any follow-up questions like i said the emails are all included in the slides and that will be going out early next week Thanks for coming, everyone.